<clears throat> hey everybody, in this video I want to show you how to use Adobe Post. It's this uh, app right here and it's pretty awesome. I'm using it a lot for Instagram and Facebook and Pinterest, Twitter, etc. Any social media. We first come into it, you'll come to this page here. Um, if you're already logged in, you see this, but if you aren't logged in, you can log in with an Adobe account if you have one of those, or you can log in with Facebook and I believe Twitter as well. So go ahead and sign up. It's free. Um, again, I, I signed in with my Adobe account. And the cool thing about this is once you uh, sign into your account, you'll be able to save your designs, uh, all the designs that I have uh, that I've saved as templates, which is one of the real strong points for this particular app is that you can save templates and then you can just come back in there and edit the template. So it's pretty cool. If you have an account, then they'll sync with your account. If you have an iPad or another device, all your templates will be on that device as well because it syncs to your account. So anyway, um, come into here, you can start with one of their designs, which are pretty cool. They even have some 3D touch stuff going on here where you can uh, open one up and uh, remix it by just coming in here and tapping uh, the uh, font here. Uh, it's pretty cool, the, the text. You can come in here and you can do all sorts of cool stuff. So just by dragging this around, you can change the font very easily to all sorts of nice fonts that they have built in here. And uh, they have a lot of cool background shapes that icon on the right there. You come in there and you change it to whatever you want. And uh, pretty nice, they have a lot of different options. So you can play around with something uh, that you like. And then once you find something that you do like, you hit that little check uh, mark. And if you wanna come in here at the top, if I hit, uh, I can add more text by hitting that A plus or I can just come into uh, the background image, and it allows you to upload something from your camera roll, uh, your, photo, your photo library, your camera, and then search free photos. Lightroom and Create Cloud are Adobe specific products, so if you don't have an Adobe account, um, you're not familiar with those, I wouldn't even worry about them. But you can come in here and do search free photos. What's cool about this is it pulls from if you look at the bottom there, it says, learn more about usage rights for public domain images. All these images are public domain. So anything that you search for, if I type in sky, I just want a cool sky background, you'll see all these images are free for you to use in any way you want because they're public domain. So you can use it for something for commercial purposes, um, or whatnot, and you don't have to worry about copyright. So it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm just gonna add Let's see here. Let's find one. I'm going to go in here and add this blue one here. So just tap on that. It'll load uh, as the background. And you can move it around and do all sorts of cool stuff. You can pinch the zoom and make it look the way you want. And then again, uh, what's cool about this is once you have that in there, you can tap design. And you can actually change your design. So if you don't like this design and you want one of these designs, you can change it on the fly and it'll apply filters and uh, text formatting to what you already have here. So I'm just gonna tap this just to show you. See that, I just tapped this one in it and it you know, changed the design completely. Same thing with this, you can just see how you can change the design very easily to something else. So say I like this, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the check mark. You can come in here to palette and you can choose all these different palettes and you can really see how you can get something really unique here. You can just keep on touching the same one over and over again, and it'll randomly go through all the different colors in the palette. So it's pretty neat. Uh, I really recommend it. It's it's nice to be able to make something for your social media pages right on the fly, uh, right on your phone. They have a lot of filters here if you want to mess around with those as well. And uh, yeah, you can see I could do a lot of stuff with this. So I'm just going to make that back to normal. We're going to go back into the palette. Uh, there you go, that looks cool. Okay, and then you can, again, if you needed to add like uh, your account name, you know, for Instagram or something like that. So let's just do account uh, name. Just do a tag there. You see how you can just move that around. And again, if you want to make lowercase, you hit align because hitting align apparently changes the uh, uppercase and lowercase, which is kind of funny. 
but that's what happens. And you come here to color and change it to something. We'll do a, a black uh, text there. And then we'll just make sure that there's no background on it. I'm just going to hit the basic. So instead of having something like that, it's going to have a basic. And now you can align it. It'll do a snap to uh, alignment. So you can see as I'm moving it, it'll snap. Once it does that, you know that you're center. And then uh, you're good to go. So once you're done, you can just go ahead and hit this top right hand corner icon. And uh, at the bottom left now, you can save the image to your camera roll. And then you're good to go. So it's that easy. And then when you hit my post in the top left hand corner, you can see how it saves this as a template now. So you can uh, 3D touch it up here like that. And uh, you can see it says edit, duplicate share and delete so you can duplicate this and make another image based on this design and you don't have to start from scratch which is pretty cool so yeah that's a, that's a quick review of adobe post it's really nice uh, you're able to do all sorts of cool things with it um, i really recommend it you can uh, pretty much do anything you need to and the the public domain images are really really great being able to come in here and you know pick any image you want pretty awesome so Hopefully that's helpful to you, and I'll see you guys in the next video.